okay students we will study today that one is a human reproduction so what is that human reproduction and how that human beings they reproduce so here human beings they are sexually reproducing that means there are two types of reproduction you know that very well that one is a asexual reproduction and another one is a sexual reproduction so human beings how they reproduce they reproduces by means of a sexual reproduction so in a human being there is a sexual reproduction there is what is that sexual reproduction so sexual reproduction means you know that very well in that human being what's happened here that human beings here produces offspring suppose see here this one is the female this is the female and here is the male so here is that one is married couple and that produces the offspring so how that offspring is produced so they are producing sexually so one can say human beings they reproduces sexually so during that sexual reproduction from that married couple that offspring is born so there is some events that occurring and what is that events that one is occurred here that events are occurred that is nothing but one can see here sequentially there is a one sequence through which that means there are a some steps and that steps are occurred and here the offspring is formed so the sequential steps in sexual reproduction of the human being are first one is the you know that very well that is called as a gametogenesis gameto genesis so here gametogenesis means what is that gametogenesis means the formation of gametes so during that gametogenesis what happens that gametes are produced gametes are produced so which gametes are produced here male gametes and female gametes that is nothing but what is that here sperms and eggs sperms and eggs that one is produced here in a gametogenesis so here gametogenesis means the formation of gametes and where that gametes are formed you know that very well in a human male there is presence of a testes that is the primary sex organ that is also called as the gonads in which there is a formation of a sperms that is testes so male reproductive organ male gamete producing organ that is testes and in a female there is a presence of ovary so that ovary produces the eggs that is nothing but the female gametes so human beings that one is unisexual sexes are separate so male individual possesses the male reproductive system and female that individual possesses the female reproductive system so here the testes and ovaries are the primary sex organs in a human being in that primary sex organ gametes are produced how they are produced where exactly they are produced ते आपण नंतर पाहणारच आहोत नेक्स्ट टू दॅट नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू दॅट रिप्रोडक्शन इज ए फर्स्ट वन इज द गॅमेटोजेनेसिस अँड सेकंड वन इज द इनसेमिनेशन सेकंड स्टेप इज ए इनसेमिनेशन इनसेमिनेशन सो व्हॉट इज दॅट इनसेमिनेशन इनसेमिनेशन मीन्स अ डिस्चार्ज ऑफ a male gametes into the female reproductive tract during the copulation so that insemination that one is taking place during the copulation so copulation means the sexual intercourse between male and female tela laingik sambandh mhantat ki ja vele te je sperms astat te female reproductive system madhe discharge kele jatat through the penis 
so here insemination is very important just like in a uh, plant pollination is important there is a transfer of pollen grains from anther to the stigma then and then next step just like that here insemination is very important in that process male gametes are discharged into the female reproductive tract so that is very important because sexes are separate so male gametes are present in the male individual female gametes are present in the female individual and there should be fertilization fertilization is the union of male gamete with female gamete so that male gamete should be reaches to the words the female gametes for that purpose insemination is very important so insemination is followed by fourth that one is a third step that is internal fertilization internal fertilization you know that what is mean by fertilization he might be apply la ki union of male gamete with female gamete now what is that internal fertilization internal fertilization means the union of male gamete with female gamete is taking place inside the body within the body so that is internal inside the body that male gamete fuses with the female gamete so that is internal fertilization so see here just like that suppose this is an body of an individual and if there is a union of male gamete with female gamete inside the body then it is called as a internal fertilization and suppose here is the body of an individual here suppose that one is a male individual that is the female individual that discharges gametes inside the water for example this one is a frog so the frog hai and a frog kya karta gametes discharge karta kuthe gametes discharge karta in an water so what's happened that male discharges the male gamete into the water and female discharges female gamete into the water and now here the union of gamete that one is taking place outside the body so that is called as a external fertilization here is the external fertilization in a human being where that fertilization is taking place it is taking place inside the body so that is called as the internal fertilization fertilization means the union of male gamete with female gamete but that one is taking place inside the body so that is fertilization tyala apan fertilization asa mhanto then the result of fertilization you know that what is this this one is a zygote formation zygot formation so what is that zygot formation zygot you know that it is the cell it is the diploid cell each and every living organism that starts their life as a single cell and that is nothing but the zygot when the male gamete fuses with the female gamete that results into the formation of zygot see here suppose this is the male gamete and this one is suppose here female gamete so gametes they unites together and there is a formation of one cell that is called as a zygote and here is the process fertilization so fertilization means the union of male gametes with what is that female gamete so male gamete and female gamete they unites together and there is formation of one cell that is called as a zygote so haploid gametes unites and here is a formation of one diploid cell that is nothing but the zygote so the next step is after the fertilization zygote formation is taking place then next to that there is a embryogenesis what is that fifth one is a embryogenesis embryo genesis so here embryogenesis means what is that embryogenesis means the complete development of embryo from this zygote so zygote divides redivides 
and then there will be the formation of embryo so, so all the steps occurring from zygote to the formation of embryo that is called as a embryogenesis and next to that next step is a gestation what is that here is the gestation gestation means it is the period of pregnancy it is the period of pregnancy pregnancy is the period of pregnancy garbha dharana is the sagra kalavadi ahe garbha develop one parent manje fertilization pasna tar sadharan pane tya delivery cha parent to to jo kalavadi ahe tala manta gestation when can say gestation is the pregnancy period after that what happened during the pregnancy there is a complete development of fetus inside the uterus of the female so inside the uterus after the fertilization near about 9 months within the 9 months that fetus get developed and that one is ready to take birth and lastly the last event in sexual reproduction of the human being that one is a parturition what is that parturition so seven one is a parturition so this one is a delivery of the baby so delivery of the baby means baby comes out through the body of a female and take birth so birth of a baby that is called as a parturition so these are the events see here that one is a married couple and that offspring is part during these such events are occurring and that events first one is there should be a formation of gamete so that is called as a gametogenesis then next to that gametes are produced inside the testes that male gametes are produced inside the testes and female gametes are produced inside the ovaries that is nothing but the eggs then next to that insemination that gametes are transferred into the body of a female reproductive tract so that is the insemination then next to that internal fertilization fertilization is taking place inside the body so it is internal fertilization union of male gamete with female gamete result of fertilization is the formation of zygote so the next event is a formation of zygote then embryogenesis complete development of embryo from the zygote that is embryogenesis then next to that gestation period gestation period means it is the period of pregnancy and later on what is this parturition after the nine month approximately that baby is ready to take birth and that birth is called as a parturition so these are the some sequentially events and these events aplyala ata kay karayche ahe te pudhe jaun ek ek karun aplyala pahayche te hi karat astane aplyala maithe ahe sexes are separate mag tya madhe male reproductive system female reproductive system so we will study later on